All right, now that we get our featured image for our downloaded product, let's go ahead and create the price and also the purchase button so the users can purchase the theme. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to go remove this widget just so it doesn't get in our way or So we reload, you see that that's gone. All right, so what we want to do is display the price and also a purchase button. So if we go to Easy Digital Downloads, go to Support, Documentation, we can click on this first link right here, Creating Custom Add to Cart Links. So let's go ahead and go to that link. And we can see here that all we need to do is create this hyperlink right here with your, your URL, add to cart, and download the ID of your download. So if you look down, this ID of your download needs to be replaced. And you can see here, it gives it a little example of how to get that ID. So let's go ahead and grab this, copy that, go to our theme files, and I'm gonna it's gonna be in the sidebar. That's where I want to display this. So right above all the widget areas, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this in there. I need that ID of the download again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this PHP echo statement and put that right here. This isn't going to be your URL. I mean, obviously it's not going to be your URL.com. It's going to be whatever the URL of your website is. So you can get that pretty easy. WordPress, blog, info. So if you do something like this, PHP blog info and whatever you want here, so the name, the description, the WP URL, the URL, for example, whatever the case, in our case right now, it's going to be the site URL. So we just want to put URL in here. So let's go ahead and grab this here, copy that, go back to our theme files, and right here, we just need to put another PHP statement in here and right here we're going to do URL. So pretty straightforward there. So let's save that and go reload the front end of our site here. You see that nothing's getting displayed and if you scroll down our footer is actually kind of broken and that's because of this statement right here. It's saying if there's not a sidebar active which we currently don't have one active then it's not going to display anything. So what I'm going to do is just delete this statement in case I don't want to display any sidebars. So if I save that and I reload, you see that I get this purchase link here. You can inspect that. You can see here that the URL's kind of wrong here. We need an actual slash before. So right after this URL, we need to put a slash there. And that's because if we look back at the example that we were given, you see that there's this slash before this question mark. So we just need to make sure that that is the right URL. So if we reload again, you see that it looks a lot better. So if you click on purchase this, you notice that it takes you to, in my case, the home page of my site. That's because we don't have a redirect set up. But if you go to slash checkout, you notice that it's actually getting added to the shopping cart. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. But if we go back to the easy digital downloads documentation that we grabbed this code from, you can see here that you can add this checkout action in right here. It says if 
when clicked, you want to link automatically, take the user to the checkout page, do this. So we can do something similar to that. So let's copy that. I'm going to paste it in right here just to see what's different. You can see that it says checkout. And then pretty much exactly what we have. So let's, all we needed to do was add that little checkout section in here. So if we save that, let's go back to our theme that we're playing with here. Here's the purchase link. I'm going to go ahead and click that. You can see that it took me right to the checkout page. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and remove that again. Go to themes. So with this purchase link, we can, you know, style it, of course. So again, I'm using uh, Bootstrap. So I could do like BTN, BTN primary, BTN LG. So I'm just going to make it a primary button, large size. So if we reload, you can see that it's a huge button now. You know, of course, I'll need to do a little bit more styling, add some margin to it, move it down, maybe add a, you know, put it in a panel just so it lines up correctly and looks good. But you can see it's pretty pretty easy how to set up. So the next thing we want to do is probably show the price somewhere. So if we go back to Easy Digital Downloads, uh, go to Advanced, Theming, see this link here showing the price for a download so let's click on that see what it has to say here so they give you some example code and right here you can see price so let's go ahead and grab that copy that and that's all we need to do so if we go into our theme files right above this button I'm gonna display the price. So save that. Reload. And there we go. Price is 20. But you'll notice when we created this theme, all themes, edit, that we have variable price enabled and there's actually two different prices. So in the next video I'll go over how to display the different variable prices so we can show the different prices for a particular downloaded product.